My name is Melanie Mulkey. I'm a third year MFA candidate in photography at the University of Notre Dame. I've always been really fascinated by photography's ability to influence our perception of time and space. Um, photography has uh, the power to persuade and confuse the viewer based on their own lived experiences. And I find that um, one of the reasons why I choose to show my work as final photographs um, versus as the objects in and of themselves. Um, the photographic body of work um, in the Snipe Museum for my thesis exhibition um, is entitled Interiors, and it's comprised of 12 photographic images um, that relate to the conditions of place as it relates to the human psyche. Um, the detailed diorama sets in the exhibition that I build from miniatures um, represent altered perceptions of inhabitable spaces. Uh, the constructions, the shifts in scale, the lighting, the color, uh, the pattern, they all kind of provide a separation from the real and allow an entry for individual interpretation. Um, although the images in the exhibition feel believable at first glance, uh, the many distortions and disconnections in the photographic image ultimately require a reinterpretation from the viewer once they kind of realize that these images are set constructions and they have to kind of um, reconfigure what it is that they're seeing. Um, I'm very much, much inspired by architecture and uh, the psychological effects of enclosed spaces. Um, so the, the, the light, doorways, hallways are kind of windows or kind of portals um, and entrances and exits um, for one to navigate. Um, there's a sort of uh, access and denial in architecture that I find really similarly um, uh, relevant to photography, the kind of access denial that photography gives us as well. Um, so I find that particularly um, a strong influence in my work. As you walk through the exhibition, there's a lot of kind of hallways and turns and corners and a variety of things that I find inspiring in my own work, but also were kind of embedded naturally in the space itself. So there's actually several images um, that I made from 2019 that respond to the architecture in the Snipe Museum. Um, so as you're coming down the hall um, into the main part of the exhibition, you're confronted with a piece entitled Arrival. And that piece is kind of mimicking the hallway that you experience as you're walking through the space. Um, with kind of two ends to it, a dead end wall, and then a turn um, to the left. But it's kind of torqued on an angle, so I think it can kind of create a sensation as you're coming into the exhibition. Um, there's another photograph entitled Spirit um, that I really wanted to create an image that kind of butted up against a wall and kind of created more of a two-dimensional kind of flatness. Um, and I really wanted to use that kind of wall to place that image. There's a really interesting kind of um, just naturally in the space that exists, um, kind of a hideaway door with no knob that's kind of in my space. And so I wanted to kind of create like a, a section um, of images that um, respond to doors and how doors kind of take us into another space that we can't see or we can't imagine. Um, split level actually um, an impression or actually kind of next to the kind of false door. Um, and so I really wanted to not draw too much attention to that door, but really kind of have that incorporated in the curatorial decisions of, of the exhibition. Um, and then screen, there's kind of a, um, a turn into another space as the kind of um, exhibition space itself kind of turns off into another room. So some of the anchor points in the show that really speak to the architecture in the image, they're also really um, deliberately responding to the architecture in the space. The variety of the images in the exhibition are really inspired by lots of different things kind of all put together. Um, set design and lighting from film directors such as Tim Burton, David Lynch, um, Alexandros Avranos, Peter and Michael Spierig. Um, photographers 
um, such as James Casabier has been a huge influence of mine. Um, he's been working with set construction since the late 1970s. Um, still photographs from artists such as Lee Friedlander um, and his images of 1960s television sets. Um, Larry Sultan and his images of, um, from pictures of home, pictures from home of beautiful curtains all throughout the images um, in that series. Um, architects such as Paul Rudolph and Simon Unwin, some of their texts um, have been really influential. Writers such as Gaston Bacalard and Ann Troutman. Um, and I'm also very inspired by Trulia and Zillow and Realtor.com. I pretty much look at those every morning um, and kind of search out or seek out real spaces. Um, I find those sites to be pretty fascinating because some of the spaces are so revolting and some of them are so inviting. And I think photography is, is what gives us access to those spaces. So I'm really inspired by looking at those. And then several of the images are also from real spaces that I've been in or I've lived in um, that I've kind of recreated and imagined from memory. And I think that the, uh, the way in which all of those variety of sources come together to kind of create these um, dramatized versions of place um, creates a sort of um, oscillation between believability and fiction, which is, um, kind of results in all the images having their own kind of personality. This uh, series is, um, has 12 photographs. Um, it's an ongoing body of work that I plan on continuing after graduate school. Um, and so far I have 19 images in the series, so there's uh, seven more that we're not seeing here. Um, so I do plan on continuing to work on this series um, and respond to this series as it grows. Um, I have a couple of shows coming up this summer um, at the Saika Museum in South Korea, um, as well as the Malipiani Gallery in Rome, Italy.